14 seconds. Must be showing off areas of the game. Hold on, what's a... Uh... Oh, there we go. A little bit more clear. All right, chat, here we go. Horizon Forbidden West. PlayStation Studios. Hi, everyone. My name is Matthijs de Jonge. I'm the game director on Horizon Forbidden West. Last year, we revealed our ambitious new project, and since then, the team has continued to make great progress on the development of the game. We are very excited and honored to give you an update in this state of play. And in the countdown video leading up to this moment, you have already seen glimpses of the Forbidden West, but now we have something truly special for you. Almost 14 minutes of gameplay captured on PlayStation 5, and you don't have to wait any of gameplay captured on PlayStation 5. I was going to say the lip sync longer. was off. Let's get right to it. They, they fixed it on their end. <laughs> easy, easy. It's okay. You're safe now. Wait, what happened? Where's Aaron? Ambush. Ruins of Chrono The Aloy model looks really good. Board. We ran and they chased Compared us to down. the first game. Aaron was away from camp. Scouting. I bet he's still out there. What was that? Raiders got machines on their side. Claw striders. You should go after Aaron. If they find him before you do, who knows what they'll do to him. No, I... You're uh, injured. I have to... Uh, don't worry about me. I'll make my own way out. Get going. Okay. Yeah. Uh. And I will say, for those who don't know, this game actually does take place on Earth. Takes place in the future, actually, not the past. What are raiders doing in these ruins? I hope Aaron is okay. But why, why are there giant dinosaur robots? I have no idea. Them velociraptors. It's got a chainsaw mouth now. Holy crap. Nice little smoke bomb there. That was close. I can't shake up. World building is so good in these games now, yeah. Up we go. Oh 
Maybe I can lose him in here. First game didn't have climbing like that. So they upped the uh, free climbing system. That's nice. Oh, there's like a zipline mechanic now. Nice. Very cool. Crocodile. Looks that way. Current strong here. I think she's wearing a breather. That's why she's why she can be down here so long. I'm pretty sure the first game didn't have swimming. That looks like a like a fighter jet or something like that. I have friends, okay? I'm not just the ones you slaughtered. But when they come looking for me, there's gonna be oh. trouble. Oh, it's a mammoth. Is this new DLC? No, this is a brand new game. I gotta help Aaron and deal with a tremor tusk. A tremor tusk? Okay. She's dead. Oh, they're actually showing interface now. Yeah, I know that this game in general it uses like minimal interface. I was gonna say something earlier, but now that we're in combat, it's actually showing it. Scream. Raiders said they were He'd be like, bridge. I live to serve Lord yeah, Megatron. Better get to higher ground, find a way. Come on, you know I can do all kind of voices. You know, 
I just don't do that many voices anymore. I need more practice. Or something, I don't know. There's the bridge. That's the Golden Gate Bridge. I think I know a way to get there fast. Oh, that's something new. Nice. All these open world games are doing like gliders and stuff now. I gotta be careful. And you know, the cool thing about this this game, or even the first one, like if you don't want to do this sneaking around, you don't have to. You can fight everything head on. So it's kind of like a choose your own adventure kind of deal. So here she she's gonna hack it. That should do it. So she's got control of it now. Helps on the way, Errand. Take your Velociraptor and just charge down there. Aloy? Aloy! Watch out! Hey, I'm up! Never done! Reminds me of Lord of the Rings a little bit. Boss fight! I wonder if she's gonna try and pin it down. Oh, that hurt a little bit. Gotta keep moving. Velociraptor dead. She has like an explosive spear. I think it has lasers. Some kind of acid bomb or glue bomb or something. Trying to hit the cores. Nice. She like knocked uh, a laser off it. Just go over, pick it up, use it. That grapple is going to be really cool. Destructible environments. Very cool. Hey, Lord. <laughs> Glad to see me. Uh, you bet. Uh, uh, I owe you another one. Come on. But <laughs> well, this time, I have a present for you. Oh, oh, oh. I found it, Emily. Huh? What'd you send me for? Right before the Raiders got me. You did good. Now, let's see where this thing will take us. Going to California. Or what's left of it. said a storm was coming. Yeah. And it's almost here. That looks great.
So there you have it. The first gameplay footage from Horizon Forbidden West running on PlayStation 5. We hope you are as excited about it as we are. While we have you here, we would like to spotlight some of the new elements you have just seen in our gameplay capture. And to help with that, please welcome Ben McCaw, Narrative Director on Horizon Forbidden West. Thanks, Matthijs, and hello to all our viewers. Horizon Forbidden West is set a thousand years in Earth's future after a global catastrophe. People live on in primitive tribes, but they're no longer the dominant species. Giant, animal-like machines now roam the land, and they are extremely Is this dangerous. Tony's version of E3? No. The machines aren't the only threat in the Forbidden West. A strange red blight is spreading across the land, and it won't be long before it strangles all life. Aloy, our hero, is the only one who can stop the blight. But to do that, she and her companions will have to comb through the ruins of the old world to find the technology they need. In this quest, Aloy has sent her loyal friend, Erend, into the remains of San Francisco to find a crucial piece of technology. Erend encounters raiders from a rebel faction of the Tanakh tribe. They are vicious fighters, but even worse, they've acquired the power to override machines. To rescue Erend, Aloy winds up fighting them. But first, she must cross the ruins to reach their camp. We face a lot of obstacles as we traverse the ruins of San Francisco. To overcome them, we've given Aloy some great new tools. Using the focus scanner, you can highlight spots that allow free climbing anywhere in the open world. Oh, okay. The pull caster speeds up climbing and can get you quickly out of trouble. The shield wing allows you to safely descend from great heights or surprise enemies from above. With the diving mask, you can stay submerged as long as you like and take your time to plan a path around amphibious machines or boost through strong underwater currents. And to speed up overland travel, a variety of machines can be overridden and used as mounts or in combat. Combat That's the same in the Middle West puts a strong emphasis on tactics and player choice. For close range combat, the spear is an excellent option. There's a range of combos that have different uses and effects. Valor Surges add a unique set of special abilities, one of which can be used to knock back nearby enemies. The spear can be charged to create a high damage effect that can take down even the stronger enemies. A wide array of different weapons is quickly accessible via the weapon wheel. A slingshot with adhesive grenades to temporarily stall machines. Bows with arrows that can strip armor and expose weak spots. A powerful launcher that fires spikes that explode on impact. Smoke bombs that temporarily blind enemies. Or you can pick up weapons shot off from machines. The full game has many more unique weapons and each of them can be upgraded on a workbench. But more on that another time. I'm trying to remember if they had a workbench in the first the game. The player will need to be smart and creative and use all of the combat options we have shown to deal with a large variety of deadly machines. Sun wings in the sky, claw striders and tremor tusks on land, step moss in the water, even the seemingly harmless burrowers that you saw briefly swim by. They are all dangerous and even more so when overridden by human rebels. We've only scratched the surface of the rebel threat as Aloy will fight them in many forms throughout the game. And to defeat them, she must explore the open world to uncover the secret behind their power, and how that secret is related to her quest to stop the blight. And this is just one of the mysteries she will unravel as her journey through the Forbidden West takes many twists and turns. It's time to wrap it up. We will have more updates close to launch, and everyone here at Guerrilla can't wait for you to experience the full game. Thank you for watching. Nice. It's another game that's got a really, really good soundtrack. It will be on PS4, but it'll be the lesser experience. You know, guys? Um, I'm going to go ahead and mute this. And let's replay some of the footage as we're just kind of talking about it here. Um... But yeah, for those who missed my my intro, we will be doing a playthrough of the first game here on the channel in the uh, coming months because I never actually beat the first one. I only played the first one for about 10 hours or so, and then something came up, and yeah, I never finished it. 
But the big question is, is whether or not this is coming out this year. Uh, between COVID and the fact that we're in a new uh, generation of machines, generally speaking, the year after the council releases is an off year. And I just think with COVID on top of that, it's going to be like even more of an off year. So a lot of these big games that are supposed to come out this year, I think are being delayed until next year. But as of right now, Sony doesn't really have anything for the fall or Christmas season. So everybody's wondering if this is going to be that game. Uh, they've already announced God of War or Ragnarok. There's no way that ca that's coming out this year. But it's uh, definitely interesting that they've decided to do the state of play on this today. Everybody thought that they would give a release date, but they didn't. So I don't, I don't know what they're thinking. I wonder if they're going to give it a couple more months and then check with the team and see if, if they can actually get it done or if it'll be a Q1, Q2 game. But yeah, I think sort of in the end, one of the really interesting things about the first game is you don't get too many games that are like this that feature an open world element that takes place in the future, but it's almost like they have like a Native American aspect to it. So it's kind of like the past mixed with the future. And I don't know if it's actually explained in the first game or not as to why there are robot dinosaurs now. Guess we'll see when I when I play that one and actually beat it. Or maybe it's just not explained at all and they're going to continue the uh, adventure or the mystery in this one. But yeah, any uh, thoughts from chat before we uh, switch over? There were three three events today, and we're going to check out all three events. This was the first one. Uh, next up, we're going to take a look at the Dying Light 2 uh, event. Which, that game, I'm really concerned about. But I, I guess we'll see what they have to say. But yeah, I'd say Horizon Forbidden West looks really good. First one was really good. Got a lot of Game of the Year awards. And this one looks like the the next step, I guess.